Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for June 6, 2023 is the waning gibbous moon in Taskmaster Capricorn, Tri Messenger Mercury in Steadfast Taurus. Take a practical approach to the ideas that are coming at you from all angles today. There might be insights where you weren't expecting them. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for June 6, 2023 is Algees. Algees. The letter is Z. The meaning is Elk. Its associations are protection, awakening, shield, defense, higher life, connection with the gods. Today, you might have divine insights that come your way. Share that wisdom with others. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for June 6, 2023 is Past Life Relationship. Past Life Relationship. You have known each other before. The Romance Angels sent you this card to explain the relationship you've inquired about. You have some unfinished business in conjunction with a soulmate from a past life. This may involve forgiving someone, a joint project, or learning personal lessons such as patience. Soulmates recognize each other instantly. And this feeling is often registered as a sense of romantic or sexual chemistry. The magnetism that draws two people together can surpass logic because the purpose of this relationship is healing and learning. Whether or not your soulmate becomes your life partner, you'll experience personal and spiritual lessons and growth as a result. Past life regressions can also help you uncover the answers you seek. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for June 6, 2023 is Winter. Card 8. Winter. Rejuvenation. Make a paper snowflake today. Winter is a part of the transformation of life within the great cycle. Dormancy of nature and all that dwells within the earth. You may feel like pulling into your ruby cave and being alone with yourself and spirit. It is time to observe your inner workings and know to work within the great mysteries of life. Change is in the air, but before it can manifest, you must rest up for the activity of the spring. This is the time to gather your energies to you. This card is saying that you are almost ready for the next phase of life. But before you can step into it, you must rest and hibernate in winter's cave, knowing you are safe and warm within the earth. You have come far on your journey. Let the fairies guide you to that place of rest. For every activity, you need a corresponding repose. This will keep you in balance as you continue on your path. This is a time of regeneration. Take care of yourself. This can mean taking time to watch a good movie, read a book, do a hobby, meditate, go for a walk in a winter wonderland, or take a blissful nap. Whatever feels right and peaceful to you. Give yourself permission to rest and rejuvenate. It is a basic need. Observe dogs and cats. See how many hours a day they sleep. Preparation time is just as important as the trip itself. Without proper preparation, one does not get very far. Your chant. Spirit of winter, wrap me in warmth and contentedness of life at rest. 
Bring to me the knowledge that I am housed in spirit no matter what goes on in the outside world. I am in harmony within my heart. Winter's chill cannot find me. I gladly accept this period as my time for rejuvenation. I choose to suspend myself in the radiance of winter's light, both born a peaceful and brilliant journey within. So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for June 6, 2023 is The Golden Children. The Golden Children. Inner Child. Tenderness. Innocence. Rare Gifts. Golden Children. Children of the Sun are highly advanced, extremely intelligent souls who are incarnating increasingly on planet Earth. They have little or no personal karma and possess incredible gifts and intuitive abilities. Golden children are born with a very clear mission. Many remember it from a young age and begin answering and sharing it early in life. Due to their unique intelligence, they might find themselves easily bored at school. Most have never incarnated on Earth before, and so if they're not properly supported in the right ways, they struggle with physical life here. They are often referred to as new humans. If you pull this card, it may be a sign that you're being called to mother, father, or nurture a child. You may be called to tend to your own inner child, a creative idea or project, or a new beginning. Treat yourself or the new beginning with sweet, tender love to nurture and nourish it, to give it every chance to grow and reach adulthood, to encourage it, to water it, to see the world through the innocence of a child, to see yourself and all others as innocent children, to remember that deep down, everyone is trying their best. And if they are treated with a tender heart, they will not harden as they journey through this great adventure called life. Your star seed soul inquiry, how can you treat yourself or others more tenderly? Today's daily priestess of light oracle card for June 6, 2023 is wisdom. Wisdom, learning, joy, art, music. The goddess Sarasvati holds a musical instrument in two hands and extends her other arms outward in joy. She stands at the door to the temple, encouraging you to enter a new period of learning and exploration. This card heralds a time of deepening wisdom for you. It may be gained through personal investigation or through school or other formal courses of study. Don't dismiss this potential for learning. There is profound gratification that comes from this pursuit, whatever the subject may be. It is possible that your path of study will relate to some form of art or music. If you have an interest in these or other creative endeavors, now would be the time to dive right in. Take a class, go to a museum or surround yourself with music and art forms that bring you joy. The swan represents the connection between the mind and the heart. And as you open your mind to greater understanding and joyous new experiences, your heart will glow with inner satisfaction. In addition, your life force will sing with beauty, grace, an irresistible attraction. Affirmation, I always choose to learn and grow. The music and art of life 
inspires me. So today's daily energy reading for June 6, 2023 is the astrology is telling you to take a practical approach from to the ideas that are flying at you from, well, everywhere. Uh, Algees ask you to be ready to receive divine insights that you should share with others. The romance oracle wants you to know that you have dealt with this person before. What lesson did you learn last time? The fairies ask you to go into a period of rest so you can heal. The starseed oracle reminds you that all people require tender love to grow and develop properly, including yourself. The Priestess of Light Oracle wants you to know that a time of increased wisdom is upon you. All these energies are uh, very compatible. You're going to have a lot of information, a lot of wisdom, a lot of divine insights coming at you. And they're going to be coming at you very quickly. The energies are also asking you to go within so you can heal, to give the tender love to yourself. Fill your cup first so that you can give to others, right? And that a lot of that is happening because the person you're interacting with, which is probably, is probably triggering you and causing you to have emotional reactions, is a past life relationship. Past life relationships are often karmic. They're not always karmic, but sometimes a person can even be our, our twin or our soulmate and be a karmic in that moment. Anyone can be a karmic. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. You could have a perfectly good relationship with absolutely anybody, your parents, your friends, your other members of your family, your romantic partners, and yet they do something, say something just a certain way, have a way that they act uh, that you never really noticed before that is now really bothering you because there's something about it that feels, I don't know, disrespectful or feels inappropriate somehow, and you just didn't say anything before, but you need to, because those are the places in yourself where you need to heal. That is what relationships do for us here on earth. Remember, earth is a school, and your relationships are how you learn. <laughs>